15 minutes before the top of the hour now. French Jews make up only 1% of the country's population. But did you know that 40% of all crimes in France are directed towards the Jewish community? And anti-Semitism is on the rise across the world, even here in the U.S., where the FBI says the vast majority of all religious hate crimes are against Jews, not against Muslims. Here to react, the only Jewish Republican uh, in Congress, Representative Lee Zeldin. Congressman, welcome. Congratulations on your election Thank win. Thank you. Talk some serious stuff now. No, uh, um, there's no coincidence that uh, one, of these, uh, one of these terrorists ended up in a kosher supermarket, was it? Well, there's no doubt, and before these attacks in Paris, we had Jews in France fleeing the state. I mean, all over the, the country of France, Europe, all across the world, there's been this rise in anti-Semitism. I think it's uh, important that the Israeli prime minister was there uh, in Paris yesterday praying with Jews, uh, but the rise of anti-Semitism is very real. Absolutely. For example, did you know that 7,000 Jews have left France in 2014? That is double the usual number, and most of them are heading to Israel, which is great news for that country. And no wonder they're leaving. Look at this. The rise in anti-Semitic crimes in France. Fifteen teens were, uh, were beat by a, a Jewish man. You got a kosher restaurant was firebombed in July. Molotov cocktails were thrown at a Jewish community center. Anti-Israel protests have turned violent, threatening to kill a woman, uh, a Jewish woman and baby assaulted while waiting for a bus, Orthodox Jewish men assaulted and beaten on a train. These are just some of the incidents. That's, that's, there's a huge message here that no one's paying attention to. Well, there's no doubt. Definitely a, a rise in awareness is going to uh, probably result from what happened last week and over the course of the last few days. I think that the, uh, the Unity Rally yesterday, which was uh, strong, it was historic. Uh, I was wondering where my president was. Uh, he should have been there with uh, with everyone else. And uh, but but as I was watching the pictures of the uh, the, the prime minister speaking to uh, this group, the reception that he got, uh, I hear that the uh, the four hostages are going to be uh, heading to Israel to be buried there. Uh, hopefully, there's an opportunity with this heightened awareness to the anti-Semitism in France that's growing elsewhere as well. That with the heightened awareness, maybe we can turn the tide. Yeah, maybe. And you're in the Foreign Relations Committee. With Eric Cantor out, do you feel a special, uh, a special uh, responsibility to make sure the Jewish concerns are heard? Well, it, it's important that, that we understand whether you're Jewish or non-Jewish. I, I strongly believe that our strongest ally in the entire world is Israel. And as I've been watching the Obama administration, there has been uh, daylight between uh, the U.S. and Israel. And we, have to, we have to cut it out. Congratulations on your Thanks, win. Brian. Nice to see you in studio.